Do you know why do we say the United States of America and not the India? Well, if you know the answer, then write it down in the comment box below. And if you don't, watch this video till the end. Because today we are going to talk about articles in English. What are articles? The words like a and the are called articles. They are used to make a noun sound specific and non-specific. So let's get started. Ingvarta, your English practice playground. No judgment, only motivation and constructive feedback. Hello everyone, I am Vani and I welcome you back to another English lesson with Ingvarta. Today's topic is one of the most requested topics. But before we start today's video, here are the answers to the quiz from our video on English slangs and idioms that you can use at your workplace. And if you haven't taken that quiz yet, not to worry, just press the I button. In today's session, I will not only tell you the correct usage of articles, but also where not to use them. Because the thing with articles is that a lot of people use them at the wrong place. So it is important to know these common mistakes and avoid making them. So I want you to watch this video till the end and take a small quiz to test what you've learned. I hope that you're ready. Let's start today's lesson. There are two types of articles, definite and indefinite. Definite articles make a noun sound specific, whereas indefinite articles make a noun sound non-specific. So let's look at definite articles first. The is a definite article. It is used to talk about a specific person, place or thing. For example, when will we complete the grammar lesson? or she came to the airport with him. In both these examples, we are talking about something specific. In example number one, we are talking about a particular grammar lesson. In example number two, we are talking about a particular airport. Let's look at some other examples. He walked out of the conference room. I thought that was the best way to solve this problem. For three days, the clinic will remain closed. In all three examples, we are talking about a specific person, place or thing. Now let's dive deep and look at four rules for definite articles. The is used before some pronouns, like names of oceans, seas, deserts, mountains and also some countries, like the Pacific Ocean or the United Kingdom. Do you remember at the start of the video, I asked you a question that why do we say the United States of America and not the India? Well, hold on and I will answer that question towards the end of the video. Moving on to rule number two. The is used before the name of books and before things that are one of their kind. For example, the Harry Potter series or the sun, the moon, the sky, Rule number three, the is used before superlatives. For example, he is the wisest in the group or he is the strongest amongst all the athletes. And rule number four, the is used before numbers like first, second, third, and it is also used before musical instruments and when we compare things. For example, I like playing the piano I love playing the flute and an example when you compare things with me the more you speak in English the more fluent you will become now let's look at indefinite articles a and an are indefinite articles they are used to talk about a non-specific person place or thing for example I am a teacher an apple a day is good for your health Ram is an honest man I saw an elephant in the zoo. So let's dive deep and look at four rules of indefinite articles. The first question that must be coming to your mind is how to choose between a and an. Well, the rule is quite simple. However, some exceptions are there. Let's go through all of them one by one. 
Before starting, let's refresh your memory on vowel and consonants. In English alphabets, we have five vowels. A, E, I, O, U. And all the other alphabets except these five vowels are called consonants. Now the rule is to decide whether to use A or AN. It is quite simple. We have to check whether the word is being pronounced with a vowel sound or a consonant sound. If it is pronounced with a vowel sound, we use AN before it. If it is being pronounced with a consonant sound, we use A before it. Pay attention. I said that if the word is being pronounced with a vowel sound, it is not important that the word needs to start with a vowel letter. If the sound is of a vowel, we use AN. And if not, we use A before it. For example, with words like honor, honest, are, we use an before it and not a. Because when we pronounce the word, the sound that we hear is of vowel letter o. Honest, are, honor. Letter h is silent in all these words. We have already done a video on silent letters. If you haven't watched that video, watch it now to get a detailed explanation on the topic. Similarly, with words like university and union, we use a and not an because when we pronounce these words, the sound that we can hear is of letter y, y, university, union. Therefore, instead of using an, we use a. Furthermore, we use a and an when we talk about quantity 1. So instead of saying, I have one pen or I have one orange, you can say, I have a pen or I have an orange. So you just simply replace one with a or an. And we also use a and an to single out a person or a thing from a group. For example, a student must talk on behalf of the whole class. Now you know the rules of articles. Let's see when not to use them. Articles are omitted when we talk about abstract ideas like our feelings, habits or facts or anything in general. For example, if I say, let's go out for the dinner tonight. That sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence will be, let's go out for dinner tonight. Or if I say, the dogs are great pets. That sentence is also incorrect. The correct sentence will be, dogs are great pets. Articles are not used before countries or languages, sports, meals or academic subjects. For example, I will not say I live in the India or I live in a India. I will simply say I live in India. And if I say I love speaking the English, is that sentence correct? No, it is not. The correct sentence will be, I love speaking English. I will never say, I love the cheese pasta. It will just simply be, I love cheese pasta. Articles are also omitted when we talk about plural nouns, like children, sugar, water. We will not say, I want a water or I want the water. We will just simply say, I want water. With that, we have completed all our rules and now it's time to answer the question that why do we say the United States of America and not the India? Well, the answer is that we use the with countries that have words like republic, kingdom or state in their names. Whereas when we talk about India, we are talking about one single country. So we will not say the India or a uh, India. It will simply be India. I love India or I live in India. With that, we come to the end of all the exceptions and now it's time for your quiz. You will see five questions being displayed on the screen. All you have to do is pause the video and fill up the blank spaces with the correct answer. I am sure that you answered all the questions right. Wait for my next video in which I will be answering today's quiz 
and also I will give a shout out to top 5 people who answer all the questions correctly. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Do like, subscribe and share this with your friends. I will see you tomorrow in another lesson. Till then, stay safe and happy learning. Ingvarta, your English practice playground. No judgment, only motivation and constructive feedback. Join today.